Henry Becquerel, The Discovery of Radioactivity. Antoine Henry Becquerel was born in Paris on December 15, 1852. He was born into a distinguished family of scholars and scientists. His father, Alexander Edmund Becquerel, was a professor of applied physics and had done research on solar radiation and on phosphorescence, while his grandfather, Antoine César, had been a fellow of the Royal Society and the inventor of an electrolytic method for extracting metals from their ores. Henry Becquerel was educated at the Lycée Louis Le Grand École des Arts Polytechnique from 1872 to 1874, and at the École des Arts de Ponce et Chazy from 1874 to 1877, where he received his engineering training. On leaving the Polytechnique in 1874, he married Lucie Zoe Marie Jamin, a daughter of a professor of physics in the Faculty of Sciences in Paris. Before the end of his schooling, Becquerel had begun both his private research and his teaching career at the Polytechnique. His wife died just four years after marriage in March 1878, a few weeks after the birth of their son, Jean. Jean later became a physicist himself, inheriting the chair of the physics held by his father, his grandfather, and great-grandfather before him. When Henry Becquerel's father died in 1891, he was appointed to succeed him as professor of physics at the museum and at the conservatory. The same year, he was asked to replace the ailing Alfred Pontier at the École Polytechnique. Finally, in 1894, he was appointed chief engineer at the École de Ponts et Chazy. Becquerel married his second wife, Louise Desiree Larue, the daughter of a mine inspector, in 1890. The couple had no children. Becquerel's earliest work was concerned with the plane polarization of light, the phenomenon of phosphorescence, and with the absorption of light by crystals. He also worked on the subject of terrestrial magnetism. In 1896, his previous work was overshadowed by his discovery of the phenomenon of natural radioactivity. Following a discussion with Henry Poincaré on the radiation which had recently been discovered by Röntgen, and which was accompanied by a type of phosphorescence in the vacuum tube, Becquerel decided to investigate whether there was any connection between x-rays and natural occurring phosphorescence. He had inherited from his father a supply of uranium salts, which phosphoresce on exposure to light. When the salts were placed near to a photographic plate covered with opaque paper, the plate was discovered to be fogged. The phenomenon was found to be common to all uranium salts studied and was concluded to be a property of the uranium atom. Later, Becquerel showed that the rays emitted by uranium which for a long time were named after their discoverer, caused gases to ionize in that they differed from x-rays in that they could be deflected by electric or magnetic fields. For his discovery of spontaneous radioactivity, Becquerel was awarded half of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903, the other half being given to Pierre and Marie Curie for their study of the Becquerel radiation. Honors continued to come to Becquerel in the last decade of his life. On December 31, 1906, he was elected Vice President of the French Academy of Sciences, and two years later, he became President of the organization. On June 19, 1908, he was elected one of the two permanent secretaries of the Academy, a post he held for less than two months before his death on August 25, 1908. Among his other honors and awards were the Rumford Medal of the Royal Society in 1900, the Helmholtz Medal of the Royal Academy of Sciences of Berlin in 1901, and the Bernard Medal of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences in 1905.